we just got back from the apple orchard. It was so much fun. I wanted to show some of the things I ended up, I didn't really get all that much. I got like three things, but I got a little hat, hot, I, the, I got a hat, why can't I say this? I got a hot apple cider mulling spice tea bags to make like mulled wine. Um, I absolutely love mulled wine, so I'm very excited for this, but it seems to make, like the recipe they give is, seems huge. You have to use an entire bottle of wine. So I have to hold off until we have like a party or some reason to make something uh, for that many people. Um, and then I got some apple butter, classic. And then I also got some Christmas jam. If you know me, you know I love Christmas and this Christmas jam is strawberry and cranberry. We have so many apples at this point because we got a bunch today and then last weekend or the weekend before Colleen went to an apple like place with her sister and they got like a half bushel of apples. So our goal for this afternoon is to look up some recipes for different things with apples so that we can actually use all of them and maybe do some cooking or baking this week with apples. But yeah, the rest of the evening should be pretty or the rest of the day should be pretty chill. I think it's going to be a pretty cozy rest of the vlog, but we'll see what I get up to the rest of the Sunday. You like the tummy rubs? <laughs> okay, so we got a few recipes for the apples. I think we probably won't do anything today though, but we have our popcorn. <laughs> we have our Oktoberfest beers and we're going to watch the second Harry Potter movie. We watched the first one last night on Saturday and I have seen... I haven't seen all the movies. I've seen really random numbers, like one, two, three, five, and second part of seven. Don't ask me why. I never read the books growing up. I read the books in French for the first time two or three years ago. I don't know why in French, but so I've never even read the books in English before. So it's very fun to watch with me because I kind of know what's going on, but also I kind of don't. So the commentary is kind of gold. So we're gonna have fun for the next few hours watching Harry Potter and eating popcorn. <laughs> Teddy, do you want the popcorn? Oh, he's about to make a move. <laughs> That's the key demographic. <gasps> Dobby! I thought he was so freaky the first time I ever watched his movies. I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> then you come to love him. What's the whole business with the sock? He's a basket case. Oh, yeah, then he's Oh wait, isn't he like the little elf for the mouth boys? Yeah. Hey, Harry Potter is over. It was a good movie. It is apparently, according to Colleen, the longest Harry Potter movie. It was like two hours and 45 minutes. Um, it's quite good. I was remembering some things from the books this time. But like I said, I read the books in French, which is very amusing because a lot of the characters' names are differently. Like in the book, Voldemort's like first name is Elvis or something like that because of the way, instead of like, I am Lord Voldemort, it has to be like, je suis, like I am, but in French. Um, so it's very funny. So sometimes I don't have immediate recognition with the characters because their names are a little bit different in the French books. Um, but I took a shower and now I'm gonna do some dishes. I have the oven going. I'm just gonna have a baked potato tonight because I bought one to eat last week and I never ate it. Um, so that's gonna be a very chill dinner. And then I think I'm gonna do a little planning for the week ahead. I have not been super great about planning my weeks out uh, since I've mostly just been working on these military allocations and then slowly adding in some research on Australia. So I think I really wanna sit down and decide what exactly I wanna tackle and what seems realistic for this week. So that is my plan for the next few hours. Okay, my hair is a little crazy this morning. I'm gonna have to fix it before I go to school, but hello, it is now Monday. I like to keep it real with you guys, and to be real, I did not, but not the app. I don't have the app. <laughs> uh, I did not do what I said I was gonna do yesterday. I said I, that I was gonna plan my week out, and I did not do that. I watched a show with Colleen, and then I talked with my family for about an hour, and then I, like close up my night talking to Andrew. So it's Monday and I once again have not fully planned my week, but we are just gonna forge ahead. Maybe I'll plan later today. First up, I need to respond to um, an email 
for the class that I teach and fix something for a quiz that's coming up. And then I have a meeting on campus at 12 for the undergraduate teaching committee, which I serve on as the graduate representative. Over the last week, I've been trying to ask around if any graduate students have like complaints or concerns about teaching and grading and literally like no one has brought up anything. So I don't really know what I'm gonna present to them as my concerns as a graduate student, but we'll see how that meeting goes. It is our second meeting of the semester, but I couldn't attend the first one. So we'll have to see what this is all about. Last year I was on the graduate student committee. I'm excited to mix things up a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna get to some emails and then try and get a little bit of archive work before I have to go to school for this meeting. Okay, we are back. It is the end of the day. I ended up going to campus for the meeting that I had with the undergraduate teaching committee, which was really interesting and I'm really happy and excited to be on this committee this year. Last year I was on the graduate studies committee and yeah, I just like the committee that I'm on now. And then I went and got some books from the library and came back here to get some more work done for the rest of the day and then I just had a few calls so like I couldn't really vlog but I talked to a few friends today had some dinner and now let's see what time it is it is 704 and I am about to start a workout I'm going to attempt to do Chloe Ting's like summer shred challenge it's obviously not summer anymore but I am trying to to just start working out again. I always feel better and have a little bit more confidence when I'm working out and I just feel healthier. So for me, it's not necessarily about losing weight or anything, which I don't necessarily need to do. It's just, I feel better when I work out. So I'm very nervous because I've heard this is extremely intense, but a lot of people have good results from it. So we're gonna try day one. There are two videos to do and I don't really know what they are since they are week one, day one, but let's see what it's like. not stay until the end. Had a last set of high knee jumps. It was over for me. Um, I feel so ill. I have not worked out in forever. I used to be super active when I was in high school. I did sports, lots and lots of sports. My primary sport ended up being track and cross country, but I suffered with a variety of knee injuries, which kind of took me out. So I try and stay sporty, but I feel like I always get into bursts where I'm super active and then I go like really long periods without doing anything. So for today, the start of this thing, you do one 13 minute video and then we're supposed to also do another video. Abs in two weeks. I don't know if I can make it through another video. I need to take a little break. I need to get some water and see if I can power through. Let me tell you, 
Not for the faint of heart though. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to take too long of a break because then I feel like I'm not going to want to continue on, but I am going to take a five minute TikTok break. I also downloaded a new app called Screen Zen which creates a shortcut on your phone. I think it's just for iPhones for apps that you want to start trying to lose less. And whenever you open the app, so I have this for TikTok. When I open TikTok, it takes me two screens in. And for 20 seconds, it has this thing that goes back and forth. And then at the end of 20 seconds, it'll say, do you actually like want to open TikTok? I will say my TikTok usage has gone way down in the last three days. Thanks to this. Okay, TikTok time for five minutes. And then it's 7.30. Back to working out. <laughs> that was terrible. My arms feel like jello. It wasn't like the best workout because I'm super out of shape and I did have to mod I did have to modify some of the exercises. But I like watching this girl's videos because she's just super nice and encouraging. She's like, you can do it like one more set, which is the kind of attitude I need while I'm working out. So that pretty much wraps up Monday. Um, it's 7.42 now after all of that. So I think I'll probably just relax for the rest of the night and watch some TV. There's absolutely zero part of me that would like to get out of bed today. It is 8. 35 and I've just been sitting in bed for 20 minutes doing nothing but I think it's time to get ready and start my work day so let's try and do that <sighs> It is 
now Tuesday. I had a pretty productive day. This morning I did some archival research and then I went to campus to work for a little bit and got through 200 pages, I think six chapters of this book, which is called The Broken Years by Bill Gamage. Very funny. When Justin saw me in our study room, he was like, what is that book and why are you reading? Because I haven't as you know, done that much reading since my comprehensive exams. Um, but this is one of the kind of like foundational books for a new wave of history on World War One in Australia. So it's not on mothers or anything, but I need a good foundational kind of understanding of Australia and World War One for my research. So I'm reading through this, I'm pretty happy with my progress on the book today. So next up is day two of working out. I think I might try and work out down here today because yesterday I felt like I was gonna break through the ceiling with me doing all of that jumping in my room, which is essentially like the attic. So I'm gonna do that and then have some pasta. And I think I found a recipe for the first kind of thing I want to bake with our apples. A lot of the recipes say to use a particular apple and I'm sure there's good reason for this as in like baking temperatures so I'm a little nervous because we just kind of have a hodgepodge of apples and I couldn't even tell you like which apple is which in the bag because they're all mixed and mingled in there so we'll have to see how it turns out but I got a recipe from Pinterest so I'm gonna try and do that later tonight. video so today there are there's two videos and there's one optional obviously not doing the optional first video is okay there's still some things that I can't do um, but there are a few moves that I figured out like the right technique I was too scared to do them so I did like a modified yesterday I'm gonna stop bending over and get into the second video <laughs> Honestly, I feel like yesterday, I, when I got to the second video, I was surprised at how much I could do. And today I was, I like, I was dead. I couldn't do anything. I feel like so much of the videos that I'm doing like require you to be on your wrist and I have really weak wrists. So it's just like really painful to try and hold myself up. And there's this one exercise she does in both videos. That's like plank up and down. You go to push up then a plank. I can't do it. She does it so many times, I can't do it, it's so painful. <laughs> I cannot hold my body weight. Um, that was exhausting. I am gonna give myself a little TikTok break for the day before I muster up energy to go cook dinner because I'm exhausted. <laughs> and there's no way I'm doing the optional exercise. Tomorrow we have like four videos, I think, so I'm not, that are like all required. So my body is not ready for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 